Welcome to... Oh, hey guys. Sorry, video just started for some reason. Uh, welcome to another three-minute game. Dude's talking to me, but I'm talking three minutes. Got no time for that. Um, no time for chit-chat. Queen a5 is the standard move here, but he does this instead. I guess I'll take it. I don't really know. Uh, I'm going to develop aggressively. e6 looked a little weird to me, but all right. He sees a hole on, um, hmm. All right, I guess I'll do this. Stop g4. But the thing is, who's going to go f5 next move? He's going to be threatening g4 again. So, I don't know that this was so brilliant. Whatever, it's a three minute game. Um, I'm going to go h4. Nah, I'm just going to castle, man. Let's keep things simple. Let's not go crazy. h4 was interesting, though. This position's annoying, just so you all know. He has annoying pressure on my um, d pawn. I'm gonna like overprotect it. <sighs> Some construction happening outside. Uh, I kind of want to go king h2. Just feels useful somehow. Defend the h pawn in some position. Let's go rook and a to d1. Overprotect the d four point. Okie doke. Put all my pieces in the middle. I just got this problem with my my d4 point. It's like very hard to move my knight on e2 because of that. Whereas he has also problems with his d5 point. So it's like we both have these problems right now. Maybe I'll try to swing my queen over to b3. Um, I, it just sucks that I can't move my knight on e2. That's what really bothers me right now. Um, I'm going to take and go knight a4. And this looks like a, a useful little thing which has happened for me. Uh, I kind of want to take it and go with like a3 or rook c3. I'm going to take it. And now, is he having a threat? Take on a... I'm going to do this, whatever. Uh, if knight c2, his knight gets stuck. A lot of noise outside, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to close my window. What's this move? Very strange. Because this knight can barely move. Um, I'll probably just move my bishop away right away. But let me, let me make sure. Okay, bishop h1. I don't know why exactly I'm doing that. All right. What the hell? All right. Jesus. It's very complicated. And I have to close my window, but I don't have enough time to close my window. So forgive me if the sound quality is a little off. I'm going to do it right now. Uh, what did he do? He didn't move yet. His knight is stuck, right? Like, obviously very risky to have his knight there. Oh, what the, Jesus Christ. See, the stupid window thing. I, I just blundered a pawn on a3. That's what I get, man, for being distracted. I could have just taken on d5, too. You can't be distracted even for a second, or else you're just going to blunder all your pieces, basically. That's how it goes. Um, oh, well. Sucks to be me. I mean, I'm probably going to win anyway, of course. But, you know, this is not exactly how I wanted things to go. It's a strange move, but maybe it's, like, playable. Take some pawn off, though. All right, so I'm down one pawn, but, you know, I have active pieces. I'll find a way to win somehow. <laughs> Even though uh, there's no logical justification for winning this position. But I have faith. I always have faith. Look at the time he has. Two minutes. Come on now. Um, stick that right there, back in the middle of the board. Ah, he's going to lose for sure. Oh, uh, well, that's a good move, though. So he's going to get to trade some things off, which is annoying. Um, all right. 
but he's down to 14 seconds. So, but whatever, man. I had to when I opened that window, I totally lost my complete train of thought and just blundered like all of my material. So, I feel like um, it's kind of bad luck. I uh, can just go. Um, he could have just played. <laughs> he could have just played a three. But he didn't. And now I went on time. I'm so good. Yeah, I mean, you should never, you know, a three minute game, I just had to leave the stupid window open. I, I left my eyes, they left the board for like five seconds, or three seconds. I came back, immediately blundered upon. Um, so it was kind of, kind of annoying. Why, thank you, Alex L. Secchi. Um, but anyway, I win. <laughs> You know, I take any win I can get. You know that by now. Uh, I wonder how I was doing in that position, just out of curiosity, when I when I made this horrible blunder. Yeah, just winning after rook d2. I mean, it's not that hard to find. And then rook c1 after rook takes pawn. I just, uh, the window, man, you cannot be distracted in a three-minute game. If you're done, if you're distracted at the key moment, boom, everything falls to hell. But I win anyway, so I don't care that much. See you guys later. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, am I on this best list? Wow, I'm lower than usual, despite having a pretty high rating. Alright, bye-bye.